This is Sam Altman. We all know him as, well, the former CEO of OpenAI. On Friday, November 17th, 2023, Sam was ousted by his own board from the $90 billion company he helped create. His co-founder, Greg Brockman, left in retaliation and Mir Marani is now the interim CEO of the company. What the heck happened? Well, Sam literally said in an interview with Bloomberg back in June that no one person should be trusted in the industry. The board can fire him if they want to. Like no one person should be trusted here. I don't have super voting shares. Um, like I don't want them. The board can fire me. I think that's important. I think the board over time needs to get like democratized to all of humanity. There's many ways that could be implemented. And they did. Let's look at OpenAI's board before Friday's announcement. We have Sam, Greg, and Mira. We also have Ilya Sutskever, Tasha McCauley, Adam D'Angelo, and Helen Toner. Ilya is at the center of all this. There was increasing tension between him and Sam and Greg over the direction of the company. OpenAI's recent dev day was a critical inflection point. Sam Altman introduced the GPT marketplace for anyone, including non-developers, to create their own GPTs and launch them in the company's online store. Before this, there were months of internal arguments among employees about whether the company was developing artificial intelligence safely enough. Ilya was the highest executive at the company to oppose Sam. He believed Sam was pushing too far too fast. He felt Sam was moving too quickly to commercialize the software they built together, which has become a multi-billion dollar business at the expense of potential safety concerns. A lot of people have been talking about OpenAI's board structure and how this was the issue that led to Sam getting kicked out of his own company. However, the issue here was not necessarily OpenAI's board. The issue here centered on disagreements between founders, which is actually a pretty common reason CEOs get ousted. The structure of the board made this ouster possible. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Dark Mode Digest, where we explore today's most important topics in the tech industry. Now, let's look into it. what exactly happened on the day the news broke out. During the middle of the day on Friday, November 17th, OpenAI published a blog post seemingly out of nowhere, announcing that Mira Marathi, the company's chief technology officer, has been appointed interim CEO and Sam has been kicked out. The reasons why are vague in the post. OpenAI states that Sam's departure follows a deliberate review process by the board, which concluded that he was not consistently candid in his communications with the board, hindering his ability to exercise its responsibilities. The board has lost confidence in his ability to lead the company. Greg Brockman, who was one of the co-founders of OpenAI with Sam, got kicked off the board, but they still allowed him to keep his role as president at the company. However, in protest of this, he sent out this email to his team and quit. Here's how this day played out according to Greg. Thursday night on November 16th, Sam got a text from Ilya asking to talk on Friday at noon. The day came and Sam joined a Google meet where the whole board, except Greg, was there. Ilya told Sam he was being fired and that the news was going out very soon. At 12 19 p.m. Greg gets a text from Ilya asking for a quick call. So Greg joined a Google meet and he was told that he was going to be removed from the board but would keep his role as president of the company. However, Greg chose to leave entirely. Then soon after, OpenAI published a blog post about the news. It's crazy that this all happened so quickly and all so sudden. The management team didn't even know about this until shortly after. The company's investors, including Microsoft, were completely blindsided by what happened. Mira Marathi, however, found out the night before it happened. This was a huge surprise and it shook the entire industry. But how could this have happened? How could Sam, the most prominent figure in AI right now, be ousted just like that? To answer this question, we have to understand how OpenAI was founded, how it operates, and how its board is structured. It's pretty confusing, so let me break it down for you. OpenAI's board of directors was comprised of Sam Altman and Greg Brockman, both who have now obviously left. 
Ilya Sutskever, who's OpenAI's chief scientist and independent directors outside of the company, including Adam D'Angelo, who's the CEO of Quora, Tasha McCauley, who's a tech entrepreneur, and Helen Toner, who works at Georgetown University. The company was founded as a nonprofit in late 2015 to build safe and beneficial artificial general intelligence for the benefit of humanity. OpenAI was committed to doing the public good versus making profits. Over the years, the nonprofit received $130 million in total donations to fund operations, research, and development. But it became increasingly clear that donations alone would not scale with the cost of computational power and the talent required to push research forward. So the organization established a for-profit subsidiary capable of issuing equity to raise money and hire world-class talent, but still at the direction of the nonprofit. The folks on the board here control everything and are the final decision makers for OpenAI to ensure the original mission of enabling AGI to benefit all humanity instead of chasing profits. For context, when one achieves true AGI or artificial general intelligence, it means that computers can generally think and behave like humans. What's really interesting here is that the board remains majority independent. They don't hold any equity in open AI neither does Sam Altman. However, he does indirectly have an interest in the company through a YC investment fund that made a small investment in OpenAI before he joined the company full time. So what does this mean? It means any decision can be made if the majority of the board votes for it, like say firing Sam Altman from the company. At least four people out of the six on the board needed to vote against Sam to kick him out which is most likely what happened. Here's a diagram to show how OpenAI is structured. As you can see, the board controls everything, with Microsoft and outside party being a minority owner in OpenAI's capped profit subsidiary. Now that we understand the board, let's look at the individual people that run it. Ilya Sutskever is the chief scientist at OpenAI. He firmly believes in the original nonprofit side of the company. As mentioned in this video, he's at the center of what happened. He has since been asked whether the firing amounted to a coup or a hostile takeover. His reaction was that it was the board doing its duty to the mission of the nonprofit, which was to make sure that the company builds AGI to benefit all humanity. Leading up to the firing, Ilya started to believe ChatGPT just might be conscious. He thinks the world needs to wake up to the true power of the technology his company and others are racing to create. It's a dangerous game. And now, instead of building the next GPT or DALL-E, apparently his new priority is to figure out how to stop an artificial super intelligence from going rogue. We also have two other board members, Tasha McCauley and Helen Toner, who have ties to the effective altruism movement, a utilitarian inspired group that has pushed for AI safety research and raised alarms that a powerful AI system could one day lead to human extinction. Another board member, Adam D'Angelo, who was previously the CTO of Facebook and is currently the CEO of Quora. Not much has been said about his involvement, but he was probably part of the four votes from the board to kick Sam out. He actually created an AI chat app that is powered by OpenAI and Anthropic. Kind of strange that he's using a competitor. These were the people betting against Sam. We don't really know the full details yet, but it was clear that Sam was becoming a liability to the original mission of the nonprofit he co-founded. So now, what's the future of AI? Somewhere along the way, OpenAI seemingly diverged away from its original mission of reaching AGI for the benefit of all humanity. Sam and Greg began prioritizing profits and commercialization of their products. With them gone, this would slow down the company's AGI developments, which is what the board wants, and I believe this is actually a good thing. They can focus their efforts on research and safety once all this subsides. For Mira, she seems like a very capable and well-composed person. She'll be leading the company's research, product, and safety functions, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if she becomes the permanent CEO, but she's been very quiet about what happened. OpenAI's largest investor, 
Microsoft said that it remains committed to its partnership with the AI company. Sam was the face of OpenAI and the most prominent voice in AI. His removal throws the future of the company into uncertainty. This is really good for its competitors like Anthropic and Google. They're probably working overtime now to seize the moment. As for Sam Altman, he's back at it again, even just a day after his ouster. He's told investors that he's launching a new artificial intelligence venture. Greg Brockman is expected to join the efforts as well. Three open AI leaders have since quit the company and many more expected to as well. They all could join Sam's new venture. But now, just a couple of days after the firing, the open AI board is in discussions to bring Sam back as CEO. In fact, open AI staff has said they will quit if the board doesn't reinstate Sam as CEO. Investors are also pushing for his reinstatement. This is still a developing story, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and check out my other documentary about Mira Marathi.